Hey you guys, welcome back to Erica Nicole's Tarot. Um, y'all have to excuse me. I'm inside of my truck. I've been traveling, doing over the road driving. Um, that's why I haven't been up uploading any videos. Hopefully, if you can hear me, if you hear any noises in the back, this is just my fan, you guys. Um, today's reading is going to be a short reading <clears throat> for the sign of Gemini. Hey, Gemini, how y'all doing? Take a resonate, leave with don't. Don't try to force anything, you guys. Um, if you watch this video all the way to the end, like and subscribe for me. Hopefully the lighting, the lighting is good. <clears throat> don't try to force anything. Um, thank you for all the subscribes, you guys. I really do appreciate it. It's greatly, greatly appreciated, you guys. This is going to be for sun, moon, or rising. And it's just going to be a short little video for the sign of Gemini. Divine Light, the highest order protection of Archangel Michael. Divine Light, the highest order protection of Archangel Michael. I invite my spirit guides and Gemini spirit guides and guardian angels into this healing session. Any messages of love, life, career, or anything that the Gemini needs to hear on today, can you please speak to the cards for me? I thank you in advance. Thank you, Steve. A couple more times, you guys, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Some of you guys could be getting ready to receive some type of message, some type of news that's coming in for you guys. Or someone here is dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But a lot of you guys have been waiting on something to come in, and it's like it's about to come in for you guys. Some of you guys are going under a transformation or something is ending. You need to go within yourself and change your old ways, letting your old ways die and becoming someone new. A lot of you guys could also be going through a rebirth right now. But with the death card here is a major change, a major arcana that's going on in your life. So a lot of you guys are going under a transformation, ending one way. And you're starting as something new. You also get them presented here with the Ace of Pentacles, which brings in a new opportunity, stability, something long term. Something here is being offered to you guys. Either it's a new move, a new job, a new career, a new opportunity. It could also mean love as well. But with the Ace of Pentacles being here, this is the most stable ace within the deck. It brings in a lot of long-term and stability for you guys. So some of you guys are getting ready for this new opportunity, a new start. This is something that you have been working very hard on. And once you do receive it, you would need to continue to work hard, you guys. Then you have the Fool card here, which is going on a journey, um, something new. Something, um, it's like taking a leap into the unknown. It's going to be what you least expect, you guys. Um, it's like you're going out into the world not really knowing instead of um, being afraid it wants you to walk by faith and not by sight it's like he has everything that, he's, that he owns in one bag a lot of you guys are getting ready to travel as well some of you guys are getting a, a message that's coming in it could be surrounding a new job or some type of opportunity that's been that's coming in for you guys. You have the page of pentacles here. Some of you guys, it look like a new start is coming in um, from an old way of doing things to a new way of doing things. I'm going to clarify each card for you guys, and we're going to see if it can give us a little more information here. Spirit, why is the death card here for the sign of Gemini spirit? Can I have one card on why is the death card here for the sign of Gemini? I thank you. Being having some type of addiction, some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, but some of you guys are releasing something that has been very toxic to you. Um, you're breaking those chains, you're taking those chains off of you. You're no longer allowing yourself to be bound to a situation here. <clears throat> This could be with a, a love 
or someone, um, a partnership, a relationship, um, breaking ties from that. This could also mean that this relationship is going under a transformation and it's going from being unhealthy to being a healthy partnership now, you guys. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? So you got the Page of Wands again. You're getting ready to receive some type of communication that's going to come in. It could come through um, a text message, a phone call, or someone could even knock on your door. But you're getting some type of communication around a new start, you guys. Spirit, why is the Fool card here for the sign of Gemini? Can I have one card on why the Fool card here is for the sign of Gemini? I thank you, Spirit. With this leap, taking this leap into the unknown, it's really giving you a second chance at an opportunity here. I have my judgment card here. And for me, judgment um, could either stand for someone wanting for forgiveness or a second chance. So it looks like you're getting ready to get a second chance at something to start a new journey again or um, to restart something here. Um, it could be pertaining to love as well, you guys. Spirit, why is the Page of Pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? Can I have one card on why is the Page of Pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? Thank you. This could have been something that you have been working very, very hard towards. I have the Seven of Wands here. Um, I, I'm getting more of the feel of something that you have really been pushing towards and working very hard towards. So you guys, this sounds like this could also be some type of career change for you guys. Spirit, can I have three more cards here for the Gemini? Anything else that Gemini needs to hear on today, Spirit? Can the messages be as accurate as possible? Allow me to use my wisdom and knowledge to deliver this message for the Geminis that needs to hear this, you guys. I thank you, Spirit. Three more cards, please. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you guys have been holding yourself back. You've been keeping yourself bound in a situation. You're not a haven't been allowing yourself to be free to move freely um some of you guys are divided or separated um a lot of you guys are feeling some type of heart heartbreak but i'm seeing you have the queen of pentacles here and it's like she's more focused on on her pinnacle so some of you guys are more focused now on your money on your stability on your foundation um a lot of you guys could also be giving back to other people um but some of you guys are not making no movement you're not moving and you need to get yourself out of that self-sabotage energy because you're only sabotaging yourself you guys so gemini hopefully this resonated with you guys if it didn't i apologize it wasn't your story i thank you but for those that it did resonate with like and subscribe for me. If you watch this all the way to the end, like and subscribe for me, you guys. I want to thank you. Y'all have a good one.